Well, I actually have it since I was young, but it didn't become obvious until my 30s. Um, before that, I had these very, very minor seizures, which just the doctors knew about, but they didn't know what they were. Then, in my 30s, I was in bed one night and had an epileptic seizure. I lost my friends when I was exactly 10 because I had a seizure and I got a phone call that we shouldn't be friends anymore. So I lost those friends and never spoke to them again. Emma developed epilepsy first in 2008 and she was two and a half. Hannah was diagnosed in 2010 when she was four. She spent six weeks in Temple Street, hers was a harder case to solve. It, it feels like a kind of d dizzy thing in my head. Now I receive um, what's called a tonic-clonic seizure. I don't have any aura, no, no warning beforehand. That's been my history with epilepsy. Accident which happens, like you can hit your head off something or you can bash your hand off something, you can break your hand or break your skull. It's not the epilepsy itself, it's what happens because of the epilepsy. There are many different kinds of epilepsy, but 43% of people believe that all seizures involve falling to the ground and jerking. Most people think that if you have epilepsy you can't drive, but if you are seizure free for a year, then you are legally entitled to drive. Personally, I would feel a bit apprehensive about telling a potential employer that I have epilepsy, but I also understand that it's important information to disclose. There's a reason why many say they wouldn't disclose their epilepsy when applying for a job. One in five people admit they wouldn't employ someone who has epilepsy. So then, can you believe that 14% of people still don't know that epilepsy isn't contagious? Visit us at epilepsy.ie